Welcome to Stribblings, New York. I'm your host, Rob Taub, on WOR AM Radio 710 on your digital dial, an iHeart Media company. Stribblings, New York is a show about business, culture, and people. We have a wide range of guests from authors, producers, actors, artists, and restaurateurs, as well as authors and people, of course, from the world of real estate who will help you buy, sell, or rent a home or apartment. For over 35 years, Stribling has been one of New York's most premier luxury brokerage firms with over 300 real estate professionals, all possessing a unique perspective and skill set, and they provide you with the utmost in service and experience. We have a really amazing show today with a wide range of guests. I already said wide range, but it really truly is. We have Carlo Shasura, Christine Quinn, Glenn Altshuler. Catherine Witherwax, and Tony Lobianco. Carlo is our first guest. He is president and CEO of the Brooklyn of Chamber of Commerce. Brooklyn of Chamber of Commerce. I'm really speaking well here today. Uh, thank God today I'm joined by Tony Simone, my producer, because he's going to help ask Carlo some questions as I don't speak, seem to be speaking well. What's what's wrong? Tony, help. Well, first of all, thank you, Carlo, for coming thank on our show. Thank you for having me. I know Carlo, um, I'm not going to say how many years it'll date myself. Oh. And it's radio, so you can't see us. We look great. Thank God. Today. We look great. Today. We look young. Yeah, we look young. Uh, forever young. But we, we all know how much we love Brooklyn. And Carlo is here as an ambassador uh, uh, from Brooklyn, Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. His long career in Brooklyn worked for Marty Markowitz, the former borough president, uh, in public service and government. But I want to, uh, you know, tell us a little bit, but what does the chamber, what does the chamber do? Like, a lot of us folks who worked in government and community know what a chamber does, but what does a chamber yeah, of commerce do? I mean, I do? think we are, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here. We Thank are you. the advocate for businesses throughout the borough. Um, and when you say business, to us, a business is everything. So that means we are the advocate for everything in Brooklyn. Um, we help businesses grow. We help businesses prosper. We help businesses make money. We help nonprofits. We help culturals. Uh, this morning I was calling for express service on the F train. So we do a little bit of everything. We have almost 2,200 members. We do programming in the food sector, the design sector, the real estate sector. You name it, we do it. How does somebody join this, the Chamber of Commerce? That's a great question. Go on ibrooklyn.com and you can join or send me an email, carlo at brooklynchamber.com. It's the hottest place, Brooklyn. And, of course, the Chamber, being in Brooklyn, makes us a very cool place to be. Is there a fee to join the Chamber of yes, Commerce? Yes, there's, there's different fees. Uh, you know, there's a fee for a small mom and pop, and then there's a fee for a bigger business. So, so if Citibank decides to, to move there and take up 40 floors in a new high-rise at somebody's building, there's going to be a different fee for that and, you know, Mrs. Rabinowitz's fish market. Correct. You got it. Except there's only one difference from us and many other groups. We treat Mrs. Rabinowitz the same way we treat the CEO of Citibank. And that's I like our that. motto. So I, I always, <laughs> I come up with all these bizarre questions. Love it. I'm taking this show away from Tony, who's got really the intelligent questions. No, no, but, go ahead. Well, it's Brooklyn, so okay, it's got to be a little there's bizarre. A, there's a, a new TV station, I don't know if it's new, but it's showing all the reruns and Welcome Back Cotter's on all the time. And it's when you're going over the bridge, it says fourth largest city in the world. Is that true? So, so if you, uh, and by the way, I know where the sign is. <laughs> the sign used to be at Borough Hall and it's somewhere else now. But for our 100th anniversary in 2018, the chamber will be unveiling the Brooklyn. Uh, welcome back to Cotter sign. So, uh, how big back is at, it? It's a, it's a big sign. Uh, but how big how is big Brooklyn? How big is Brooklyn? So, it's interesting. Back then, Brooklyn was the fourth largest city in America. If you took Brooklyn outside of New York City, it would have been New York, L.A., Chicago, Brooklyn. Sounds pretty good. Today, and I would say within a year, we'll have to change the sign and say third largest city in America. And it would be New York, L.A., Brooklyn, Chicago, Houston. Because as Brooklyn's population is growing, 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 Chicago's population is going down. Well, that's what I was curious about. So, so we're now we are about number? to become the third largest city in America if we were standalone. Tony, you know what else fascinates me about Brooklyn? I used to live near Atlantic Avenue. I, was, I lived in Carroll Gardens, lived in Cobble Hill, Park Slope. It, it's sort of a microcosm of the entire. I mean, you have every sort of race, 
every time every kind of ethnicity food everything 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 you want is in brooklyn i know friends from france who are like we want to buy i want to buy in brooklyn which i can't say was always the case but new neighbors like prospect lefferts gardens and how far i assume your reach is in the entire borough and tell me just really quick is i know you once had this amazing idea about a tech corridor yes everyone thinks you got to be in chelsea no offense to chelsea love chelsea but Chelsea is so ten years ago. Like, but where we're not going to pit neighbors against. No, we're not. But we love. I love this idea of having tech companies work along the NR corridor throughout Brooklyn, right? Which is very accessible transportation. Dumbo, yeah, uh, all these other. Areas. So <clears throat> there's a couple of things. I think the main thing is Brooklyn is home to everyone. Uh, wherever you're from, whoever you preach, whoever you love, etc., you can do it in Brooklyn. Uh, and with that comes incredible cultural scene, food scene, music scene, art scene, everything scene. Um, the other thing, and for those of you in the real estate world, think about Brooklyn. You want you want to live on the 58th floor of a luxury building right. with a doorman, you can. Or you want to live in a big house on 100 by 100 lot with a swimming pool, a backyard, and a private driveway, you can. Or you want a brownstone, you can, you get it. There's a little bit of everything for everyone. You could stop so, at BAM and you, you can, can do everything. So, you museums. know, I've always had a dream now. Uh, to my friends downtown, they've created the Downtown Brooklyn Partnership with the Navy Yard and the Dumbo Bid have created the Tech Triangle, uh, which has been phenomenal. But I see it more as an innovation corridor, a corridor that stretches along, as you said, the R and the N line. So, my thing is if you're in Union Square, get on the N train right. and go out to Sunset Park. Carlos Sunset says it Park. much better than I do. Yeah, more. exactly. Innovative corridor. Innovate, uh, yes. The innovative corridor, Sunset Park, six million square feet of space at Industry City, a million and a half square feet of space at Liberty View, almost eight million square feet of cool tech industry, manufacturing, food, et cetera, largest commercial development in America right in Brooklyn along the R and the N train. We were discussing this last week with Elizabeth Stribling, who mm-hmm. was our guest, and we were talking all about Brooklyn. And I mentioned, I, I didn't get into this much detail, but my father was a plank owner on the battleship New Jersey and a, a proud World War II veteran Navy man. And he used to take me to the Brooklyn Navy Yard when I was a kid, which I had fallen into disrepair, but is now Not making anymore. a comeback. It's made a big right. comeback, so I'd be curious about so that. So the Navy Yard has you know thousands and thousands of jobs. They are building new, interesting green spaces, manufacturing spaces, Um Building 77, a grand new, uh, almost million square foot work center. I mean, the Navy Yard is one example of how industry manufacturing uh, resurgence of making in Brooklyn is happening in Brooklyn. We actually started a program at the Chamber called Brooklyn Made. So if you are actually making a product in Brooklyn, we will certify you. Gold, silver, bronze. We're going to showcase you. Because why would you go to Jersey and make a project product? Or why would you go down south? Make it in Brooklyn. We certify you. We want to keep you in the borough. We want you to create jobs in the borough. Some of the coolest food, interior design is happening at the borough. We host a, a, a show called Brooklyn Designs in Greenpoint the weekend of May 6th, showcasing 100 Brooklyn designers. You should all come. It's pretty amazing. We're so it, it's an amazing experience, this borough. And I, I believe we haven't even seen the best of it yet. I think we're just starting. What, what's going to be the hot new neighborhood in Brooklyn that has yet to be developed but will be in the next five to ten years? Um, you know, I, I say go south, go east. So I think, you know, Bay Ridge is already there. But where I live in Diker Heights, mm-hmm. some of the best housing in New York City, right off an express D train, yeah. come check that neighborhood out. Check out Sheepshead Bay. Check out Canarsie. Check out... Um, Places, you mentioned Prospect Lefferts Gardens, but take Flatbush Avenue all the way down. Uh, Avenue N, for example, uh, in Marine Park, uh, out by Ralph Avenue. Incredible neighborhood. It, Brooklyn is hot, and, and it's moving out south and east. What are, what are, we, are we doing anything in addition with infrastructure? I know there are more ferries. So, so where, the, where can the we mayor, take the ferry? Yeah, so the mayor announced uh, in 2017 there will be a brand-new full-service ferry, ferry system. Uh, we're asking that it also include Coney Island because I don't know how you have a ferry system and Coney Island's not part of it. No, you have to. Have you got to have Coney Island. Island. Coney Island's cool, by the way. Um, we are working again with the mayor's office, and and I commend him for this on a streetcar right. that will run from Long Island City and Astoria yeah. in Queens all the way to Sunset Park, Bay Ridge, 
that will link all of these communities together along the famous innovation corridor that I call. Um, we're calling for ex uh, an express F train to get you from Manhattan out to Coney Island fast. So there are things, but you need more. You need a lot more infrastructure, and, and we're going to make it happen. I will say, to, to toot your horn, I take the E-train to Kennedy all the time, and I don't understand. I mean, unless you're carrying, like, a giant steamer trunk, there's no reason to take – I hope I'm not hurting the taxi industry here. But you get on the E-train, and you go to the monorail. You can be at Kennedy in under an hour. It's pretty remarkable right? at a total cost of, I think – Nice. Seven seventy five. That's great. I love the streetcar idea. Street I blogged car about it. This, I know you did. I read <laughs> I, it. I love so the streetcar street is great. It will not only tie a bunch of communities together, but will allow for access and transfers. Oh, the I have ferries, to plug, the subways, and buses. I have to plug Tony's blog while 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 we're mentioning it. Pressure to Tony Simone dot com. T o n y s i m o n e dot com, and he will blog about Brooklyn. This coming week, I'm putting the pressure on you. Now, you know, Tony, in my mind, is almost perfect. You know what's missing, Tony? you got to move to Brooklyn. If right. you lived in Brooklyn, you'd be great. I know. I have to get You're close. my partner to come back Just to Brooklyn. Just do it. Just do it. Carlo, is there a website as we wrap up that you so want to So there are people two to? websites. Uh, the Chambers website is ibrooklyn.com. But we have something even more fun called explorebk.com, which is a huge tourism website. Uh, check out everything happening in Brooklyn, where to go, where to eat, where to shop, what to do, book your hotel stay. Do it all on explorebk.com. Well, Carlo, this was great. I think we barely scratched the surface with Carlo Shasura. Did I get that right you this got time? It perfect. I look for the perfect pronunciation. You got it right. And yeah. we're also here with Tony Simone. Go to that blog. And thank you so much for Thanks joining us. Thanks for having us. You've got to come back look soon. Look forward. Invite Lots me back to talk about it. It was great.